Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Annie's Song by John Denver. This is a classic, such a pretty one. I put up a version in the key of G, which has no bar chords, and it's kind of a simpler version than this. This isn't much harder, but this is closer to the original in the key of D, which is what he's playing. And it has some fun little walk downs and things like that. I've got some of the harder chords that you might not recognize, but they're really pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and play it through with him. He has not blocked it. Woohoo! And then I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. I'm going to miss the beginning, but I can show you how to do that afterwards. Okay. One of his best, if I have to say so myself. Okay, I can't remember if I told you, but you can go to rainydaygutar.com and you can print off the words with the chords above it. I did say that, didn't I? Okay, let's just go through it then. All right, here we go. I hope nothing else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll see if anything pops up. I don't know how to do that, get it to not play another song. We'll see if it comes up. Okay, um, I did, but I forgot. All right, we are gonna start with our high intro. We're gonna do a high D, so this is our regular D. We're gonna go up here on five and seven, and we're gonna put our pointer on the first string, fifth fret, and then the second and third string on the seventh fret. And we're, our pick is slightly different. What I'm, You could do this for the whole song, but it's a little bit trickier, so I'm gonna go to a simplified pick once I get into the rest of the song. Okay, so for the intro, I'm gonna go. So what I'm doing there is I'm on this high D and then I just keep sliding my ring finger from the 7th fret over to the 8th fret on that 2nd string. And I'm going 4, 3, 1, 2, 1, should be a 3 there, 4, 3, do I put that? Bass, oh there it is, no, 
intro pick. Bass three, which your bass is for. Bass three, one, two, one, three. Okay, you could actually do a two there and it's not gonna really change. Okay, that was a two or that's what I'm hearing him play as three. Bass three, one, two, one, three, which is what I typed up, but if that, that's trickier. It's easier to go bass three, one, two, one, two. Sounds almost the same. I almost might even like this one better. Oops, I did it wrong. So you're gonna do that like how many times are you? I think four, I think it says four times. One. little high D, high D4. And I've got pictures of both of those. If you're not sure what that is, when you turn this video off and you think, what's that? You can, it's got a little picture of each one. And you just kind of go back and forth between the two on that special intro pick, okay? So once you start singing, so you've gone, you're on the high D4. Let's see. You, actually you're on the high D. You actually start on the D, on the last one. You, no. to a G and I'm going to change my pick because it's easier. I think it sounds better too. I don't think that pick works as well through the rest of the song. So I am now, you could, there's two picks you can choose from. Bass, three twins, three twins, three twins is one and two together. I personally um, have another one that I like, but I just, that's just my little nickname. Bass, three twins, three twins, three, bass, three twins, three twins, three, bass, three twins. No, it changes depending on the chord. That's not my favorite pick. I'll show you another one. Okay, bass. Let's see what I say. Bass two, three, one, two, three. That's a. I like this one better. Bass two, three, one, two, three. Bass two, three, one, two, three. Bass two, three, one, two, three. Bass two, bass two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so it's gonna go. You fill up mine. I'm on a G. Sense. Then an A. Sense. Bass note six, A, your bass note is five. If you don't know these chords, go to rainydayguitar.com. On the beginning tab, it has most of them. And on the, I think I've got every chord that's not on that beginning tab printed off up here. Even the B minor, even though that's on the secondary chord page on the beginning tab down at the bottom. But I put it there just so you could just print off that one page. Also, it tells you the bass notes, which you really need to know for this song. So the bass notes, ha the bass note has an arrow pointing above it. So on the D, it's above a four. On the G, it's above a six. On an A, it's above a five, etc., etc. Okay. So it tells you really need to start on that bass note. It just doesn't sound right. Okay. All right, G. You fill up my six, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Then an A says bass notes five says. Now a B minor. If you don't know a B minor, this is a great song to learn it with. It's your introduction to a bar chord. This is a pretty easy song, but it is in the intermediate range because of this bar chord. Bar in the second fret, tall man on the second string, third fret, and then ring and pinky are on four and five on the fourth fret. And just lay that down. I focus on, I only hit the, the fifth and the first string with my pointer finger because he's got two covered, he's got three covered, he's got four, so he's only focusing on one and five. Okay, and watch. So I get this nice clear sound, but if I were to lift up these guys and not change a thing, I'm only got one and five ringing because those other, I'm not, and I don't do six because six is not my bass note, and I am not as strong as a lot of guys out there. So when I squeeze all six strings, here's what happens to my bass note. Get that buzzing. I really have to squeeze hard to get the clear fifth, but half the time it sounds like this. And I want that. I want a really good bass note. So I'm just gonna slide my pointer finger down and focus on that fifth string. Squeeze one and five with my pointer. I get that nice sound. Okay, so there's your B minor. Okay. Fill up my senses. B minor. Like a G minor D. Now it says pinch D, and I'm gonna a pinch D, I've got a picture, but basically I'm barring one, two, and three with my pointer. And my tall man's going to hold down the second string on the third fret. It's the same sound, exactly the same, but that frees up my ring and I need him free because he's going to do a walk down with that bass note. So he's going to start out going four, two, three, one, two, three. Then he's going to reach up and grab the fifth string 
on the fourth fret, and he, now your bass note's now going to be five. Five, two, three, one, two, three, and that's kind of my little walk down to a B minor seven. I'm going to let go of him now, and I'm going to slide my pointer up and grab all five strings. Bass two, three, one, two, three, and then uh, what do I do? Oh yeah, I go to an A. Okay, then I go to an A. Five, two, three, one, two, three. So let me do that walk down again from a pinch D down to an A. Okay, so pinching on D, pinch D, and I've got pinch because if I don't write pinch D, I will grab a regular D and then I'm toast. Okay, so, oh see, I did it. Okay, pinch D, reach up with your ring, grab the fifth string, and then let go of him and grab all five with your pointer and then go to an A. I'm going to put it with the words. Actually, there aren't any words there. You fill my senses like a night in the forest. Oh, yeah, there are. Like the mountains. In. See how nice that is? And then to a G. Springtime. So this says you're going to walk your sixth now. You can either walk your sixth or you can walk the whole thing. I can't decide. One minute I like the whole thing walking down, and the other minute I like just the six. So it says walk six, but I'm going to show you both. So walking the six, and then to an E minor. So all I did was I took my tall man off and moved my pointer up on the fifth fret, or sorry, second fret, sixth string, and then go right to an E minor. Or another little trick. So that one keeps my up here on the third fret but if you don't like that you can go slide everybody into the second fret and then the E minor and here there's my one and six and then my E minor so that is a walk down from a G to an E minor take your pick do you want to walk just the sixth or do you want to walk everybody down you can choose okay like the mountains in spring twice so I'm going to alternate my bass notes. When you stay on a note longer than one set of that picking pattern, you're going to want to alternate your bass notes. You're going to want to decide what your alternating bass note is and that is also on that chord sheet. The main bass note has an arrow on it and the dot above it, there's a dot above the alternating bass note and an arrow pointing to the main bass note. So you got an arrow, dot. Okay, like this would be your main and that would be your alternate. Okay, so you're going to want to do an alternate on an E minor is either five or four you can pick. They both sound good. Like go, so like the mountains in spring time. Like a walk, I alternated with four right there. Like a walk in the A ring. Here you definitely want to alternate. And we're going to do something fun with the A in a minute, but he doesn't do anything with the A this first time through, okay? So, we're just going to go five, four, five, four. He stays there for four beats, okay? Four times of that, of that picking pattern, okay? And then he kind of comes in on the last one like a storm in the desert. So, like a walk in the rain. down to your B minor 7, ocean, there's your B minor 7, now to an A, you fill up my G, whoops, got an extra note there, up my, walk to, from a G to an E minor, success, come A, fill me a D, now we're going to do a D, D4, technically it's a D sus4, but I just call it D4 because there's no room to write sus. <laughs> okay, but I know it's a sus4. So all it is is a D with your pinky on the first string and then take him back off again. So we're gonna, but instead of just going like this, I'm gonna accentuate that a little bit more by grabbing it at the beginning. And then probably not the fourth time. So on the first one, so all I'm doing is I'm grabbing four and one together and I have that kind of demonstrated here as a fraction. Okay, so if you see a fraction, it means play those notes together. I'm sorry, I don't know tab, this is my own little system. Okay, so four and one together. So you're gonna go four and one, two, three, one, two, three. Put your pinky down, that's your D4. Four and one, two, three, one, two, three. Then lift your pinky up, do it again. Four and one, two, three, one, two, three. And then 
I start on the second verse and I'm not gonna, you can pull four and one again, but it's a little heavy right here. So I'm just gonna go to bass two, three, one, two, three, back to my regular pick, okay? So, so it's gonna sound like this. Come fill me again. Dropped it that last time back to a G. We're gonna repeat what we did. Love and an A U B minor. G. Let me give my life. <coughs> Pinch D to you. Walk down. A. Let me drown in your G. So we're going to go on a regular A, instead of grabbing one, we're going to move into the middle. So we're instead of being on one, two, three, we're going to move our ring finger up and put him on two, tall man on three, pointer on four. I call that moving into the middle. So you're out of the middle, in the middle. One, two, three is out of the middle. Two, three, four is in the middle. We're going to go in the middle. And we're going to go. I've got one listed as that, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go in the middle. Same pattern. We're going to go four and two, three, four, two, three, four. Slide our ring finger up a string, or sorry, a fret. So our ring finger is going to slide from the second fret to the third fret. That is technically an A sus4. Again, I just call it an A4 because it's smaller and easier to type. It fits into lots of places better, okay? So then I'm going to go, I'm going to go four and one. Oh, that wasn't it. Four and one, two, three, one, two, no, four and two, three, four, two, three, four. Then I'm going to pull him back to an A and move out of the middle and move out from two, three, four to one, two, three. And grab four and one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to do that one twice. Okay, so let me show you that. I'm in the middle. A four. Slide your ring up. Just repeat your pick. Move him back down and get out of the middle. Up, move up to one and two. Or sorry, move up to one, two, and three. Do it twice. Okay, one more time. Here's how it sounds. Is that pretty? Okay, I'm going to put it with the words. Let me die in your arms. Oh, gosh. I messed up. A, U, B minor, let me G, <coughs> always be D, pinch D, with you, walk down with your ring finger, then up to a B minor 7, and then an A, come, let me G, love, and I'm going to walk everybody into the second fret, U, then an E minor, come, A, love me, uh. now I'm going to do that D, D, 4, D. verse, okay, but just kind of sing and hum or let your guitar do it, no words, okay, till we get to the end of the third line. Do, 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 do. Just repeating what we just did. Do, 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 do. I'm walking down. A, do, do, do. G, walk down to B minor. Back to G, then an A in the middle. minor. Let me, but the words are different. Okay, this time through it's slightly, this is the only part of the song that's not a repeat. Let me give my life to you instead of let me always be with you. So I've got that. I've got first time, second time so that you can see what you're doing on each of those through. Okay, so you're going to go B minor. Let me G give my life. Pinch D to you. Walk down. Then the rest is the same. Come pattern four and one again D four twice um, then you're gonna go back up to the top you fill up my G senses this is a repeat of the first verse like a night in the forest walking down like the mountains in springtime like a rock in the now here even though it doesn't say it on the first 
first first I'm gonna do that second A I'm gonna go into the middle quiet and he's got a little pause there we can't strum six if you want to strum six just grab all six and then he's gonna do oh, that's my place oh G mm, like a sleepy blue so B minor and G the last time through I'm just gonna go one strum like a sleepy blue pinch D back to picking ocean walk down A you fill up my G walk down to E minor So right here it says, for the last line, jump down to here because it's just a little bit different on Come Fill Me Again. They're going to do a slightly different ending. They're just going to do the D, D4 three and a half times, okay? So you're going to go, Come Fill Me Again, four and one. by plucking one and four together and just let it ring. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Not too hard of a song, you can do this. Any song intermediate version, this is much more true to the original than the one I did in G, but the G has no bar chord. So for those of you who wanted a little bit simpler version, works out great in the key of G and you can capo up to wherever you want for your voice, okay? All right, you can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print off the words with the chords. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. For lots more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.